Hello and welcome back to LEGO City Undercover. Today we'll be doing the next two levels, so let's get into them, shall we, after sneezing. That's certainly an interesting animation, one that I hadn't seen before, actually. I quite like that one. So the first level we're going to go into today is the space station, Astronauti. Time to clear this completely. First of all, the only first new thing to find is up here. A capture token. And next we'll see what's on the next floor. Ellie, how do I get the moon buggy out of the shuttle? There should be a button you can press. A little bit of speed bump tactics. Day. And that'd need power to work, right? Yeah. Why? I think I broke the power supply back there. And now the control room is full of people. Right. Hang on. It's okay. There should be some high-powered lasers in the hangar. You can use them to power up the shuttle. Wow. There is literally nothing you can't find with these online encyclopedias. Okay. Anything this else area's got know? quite a lot that we couldn't do before, like that, for example. Thanks, Ellie. Oh. Also taking care of these guards, we'll see what else we can do up here. First, there were these I ignored last time, because of course we couldn't get to all of them, but now we can. Now we have the construction worker, we can finally explore this half of this room. I like just how much you manage to pack into some of these rooms when it comes to re replays of the levels and stuff. It can be quite satisfying to come back to a rather large room and find there's still a large amount of stuff you didn't see before. So for now we'll just grab some dynamite in case we need it. Because of course we'll need it. And forget that elevator. And there's why we noticed something I didn't notice before. So let's get there, shall we? That's actually really hard to see, but it's partially because we're not actually supposed to get there from the route I'm about to take. This is again a little, little bit of a jetpack trickery. But let's go there, shall we? Because it's always quite fun to do jetpack trickery. I'd actually forgotten as well that this wasn't how you were supposed to get here. I thought this was the trick. So let's see what's in that safe first of all. I quite like this little area as well because it's so hard to see but it still makes logical sense that it would exist here. It's not like just some weird random geometry, it actually it fits into the level fairly nicely. Even if you can't see it, it's not too much of a disbelief to, that it's actually there. But also, yeah, you can tell we kind of went a bit backwards there, can't you? Because <laughs> we can't get out, we have to go in that way. And teleport up to that room. That's how the game wanted us to do that. But I happened to see it from that section, so I figured I'd get over here this way. Yeah, we'll need this puzzle solved so we can actually get to the last few bits and pieces, but first of all, we'll have a few more things we can play around with here. I'm coming to something that really annoyed me as well with the way this level's designed. It kind of makes sense, because otherwise they might endanger the level and potentially break it, but uh, it's still kind of annoying that you have to do this part in this kind of order, because I thought I could just skip the puzzle, but I can't actually do anything with that until I solve the puzzle the first time to bring the ladder down and everything like that, like I was supposed to. I have to play the game like a good little boy, and then it will let me impress with that uh, construction worker thing, panel. Seems to be just kind of working out, oh right, of course, that's the order of this part. So yeah, let's take this area, the, way, the route we were supposed to take, which is also a bit of a one-way route, which is a little annoying, but there we go. 
I do quite like the way it's all interconnected either way. So let's solve the puzzle again. Oops. I do like that puzzle though, it's fairly cute. Now that that's happened, we can finally interact with that, so let's go over there and do it, shall we? After building this, because we will need these to be powered up. And overall, I quite like this room, it's just having to redo this puzzle is a little bit annoying. Even though it's not a particularly difficult puzzle, or particularly taxing, it's just kind of, uh, again, it feels like it's just making you redo things that don't really need to be redone. Because we just, the problem is we need to get up the elevator to get some more stuff, and we can't, the elevator won't be summoned until both the lasers are completed. So we'll have to wait on that while we do this puzzle. Of course, fixing this fuse box. Will we set the puzzle? That's the last time I have to come down here. <laughs> it's kind of a drag to come all the way back out again, even though it's fairly quick. This music kind of reminds me of Batman game, uh, Batman music a little bit. Specifically, if you were the movies. Did they get this thing out of a disco? Time for the old corners and center trick. It's nearly always corners and center or across. Oh, that was a close one. I could have screwed that one up if it had registered that. This takes forever, by the way. I don't know why it's even taking this long to do what it's trying to do. It's just trying to load something, but it's just having some trouble doing so. Come on, you can do it. Don't choke on yourself, game. You'll be fine. Fine, let's switch some colours out. The game seems to want us to do so, so badly. That was like hopscotch. Uh, not that I've ever played that. Finally! <laughs> Seriously, that is just ridiculous. How long did that take? I think it was just intending for you to do the entire puzzle normally, so it just kind of broke because I hadn't. It was just a fairly ridiculous situation all round. So finally, let's complete the puzzle again. The last time. Laser two, connected. Limited shuttle systems activated. I do quite like the collectible with like breaking the models of the uh, rovers, so it's a fairly neat little uh, visual thing. It's a nice little model, and I quite like when they show up. They're a very uh, good-looking bit of machinery. So unfortunately the gods just don't fall into that hole, that would have been quite funny, but you know, they're programmed to walk well away from it, probably so that doesn't happen. I have a feeling their eyes probably very rigid for that reason. I always get kind of annoyed that you have to resummon the elevators while we like send it back up before they actually start beating you. That just seems kind of petty, really. Because it takes forever for it to actually come back down again as well, so we can actually ride it up. It takes forever to ride up. Now normally what I do here is I actually use the astronaut to cheat to grab that, but I kind of want to show off the intended route because it's a bit of platforming I never do. I just never bother with it. I need to come over here anyway to deal with this, so let's just take care of that first. They kind of like these little railings along the side of the wall. They kind of like seem like they're part of the piping, although much smaller parts of it. It helps kind of, it feels like they kind of belong here, even if they are just a gameplay conceit, but there we are. The final collectible in the level. So let's blow this popsicle stand and go to the next level.
Probably never use that. <laughs> I like his monocle, that's a pretty cool visual. I love the acronyms for space vehicles as well, like the Love. It's just a ridiculous acronym, like Love. It's a very silly word. It's kind of funny in a way as well. So here we are, scrap your scrap. Yeah, the game expects him to be uh, inspecting his new costume, so this takes a while too. Hey, I know those two. They're cops. You, go and run the bus. I guess the this level, unfortunately, we can't as easily skip parts of because there's stuff all over this level that we haven't done yet. Ready for what? We've got to get to Natalia. So let's just get through as quick as possible. Chan could be doing anything to get information out of her. Like giving her ice cream. What? He's not gonna try to bribe her, Studsky. No, I mean I get really bad headaches from ice cream. I'd tell you anything if you threaten me with it. Especially mint chocolate. Right. Or they could make her drink loads of soda pop and she'd get trapped wind because ladies can't burp in public. My mom does that all the time. Your mom ain't no lady. Yeah. Oh, I thought of another one. They could- All right, that really isn't helping. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, and we actually don't fall into for a change. That's definitely a trip. For the schmoozer. A very James Woods car. Which means they're probably driven by assholes. <laughs> a couple more cans of fuel, and I can start that generator. So yeah, let's just solve this fuel problem again so we can get this gate open and get things going. And on the bright side again, these, this, is, this is the last time we'll have to do these puzzles uh, ever. So that's pretty nice too. It's always a good feeling that when you're going to a level with all the powers and there's no where everything's going to be. And yeah, that's just like, that looks like a thing but it's not made of Lego so it's not. It just felt like I should have tried, even though I knew it wasn't a thing. Because <laughs> his fire instincts kicked in, he saw a battle on fire, and that's not very clever. Especially in an area where it deals with all like old car parts and bottles of gasoline and everything. Bottle, not the right word, but you know what I mean. Who puts a fuel can in a washing machine? Cans, that's I it. I wonder it's in a scrapyard. There we are, finally. It's always part of the puzzle solved. Push the button. I do quite like the music in this level. It's a very kind of fitting for the 70s outfit we're supposed to be wearing right now. Hey, look at me! I'm on a roll! Here was something I actually had to splice in when we finished this room as well, because I kind of speed ran this room, but then kind of... There's something I'd forgotten in here the first pass, and I had to replay the level to get get to it when I realised where it was. Because there's something in this room you actually just can't see really, not very well anyway. You might have noticed it, but I didn't. It's very hard to see when actually playing and doing what you're doing in the level and stuff. First of all, we have something new to break. I like that red brick, it's pretty fun doing that massive launch across half the level, it feels pretty good to do. We forgot we couldn't do the trick in this uh, because we don't have the actual like infinite. So 
things, we need dynamite for that. And I just kind of figured, forget it, let's just build this, it's cheap. <laughs> Let's finally get that little platform that we need. I was quite like that little sequence in the car getting crushed. It's a nice animation with the uh, car crusher and everything. I like the look of the big blue brick as well. Yeah, we could probably have used the astronaut to get here, but we definitely could have, but yeah. That was me being kind of short-sighted, but also wanting to get into the next area to uh, get that thing. If I had skipped this puzzle, we wouldn't have got that red brick. I mean, we could have, but I would have probably forgotten about it. And have to come back for it. Whoa! That was close. Remember, scrapyards are dangerous places which shouldn't be played in. You hear me? Good luck getting over the grinder! <laughs> of course, before we move on to the next room. Let's get what we forgot to grab, shall we? No move builder. Jeez. Oh. How much fridge space do you need? Yeah, we actually need to get back into that little hut. This is a little bit mean because of where it's hidden. Oop, oh, <laughs> triggered the thing there. And then triggered a second. This is getting kind of weird because it's interacting with both the dynamite and the uh, Super build at the same time. He's getting a bit thrown off and doesn't quite know what to do, and now he's blown up everything, so forget it. Build the thing, so grab the thing and move on. That was ludicrous. Absolutely ridiculous. So yeah, build the doghouse to get the dog out of the way. You may notice something in there I haven't interacted with yet. So let's head in there and see what's what. Yeah, you may see through the window there, there's a safe. I just never noticed the safe because from, even from inside you can barely see the circle that you have to stand in to activate it. So I didn't even realise that was a thing. I didn't even know what it was, I just, I just didn't adjust to it as being interactable, but there we go. So now let's move on to the second half of the level, back to the initial one through. So, is Natalia ticklish? What? Is she ticklish? Once I got tickled so badly by a mugger that I told him the security code for my bank card. You told me he threatened you. Yeah, with more tickling. So you're really ticklish, are you? Don't even think about it, Clutch. You already know my security code anyway. You still haven't changed it from your birthday? <laughs> Duh, yeah. To my twin sisters. Ah! Oh. Uh. <laughs> Oh, the tide didn't break, it just kind of moved out of the way, just like, okay, okay, I'll let you pass. There's a little awkwardness here. That's what I was trying to do. There we are. I also realised about here I could actually skip part of this puzzle by not climbing all the way around there because I could just smash right through this. I could have done that first time too, honestly. <laughs> Afraid of changing my car's oil. Oh. 
Yeah, 93 million subs is quite like, amazing. I quite like all that. It's an amusing number. Completely ridiculous, but amusing. Built out of scrap? <sighs> if I come out the other end as a fly, I will not be happy. <sighs> I don't think you've seen that movie because that wasn't how it worked. Guys. Well, at least my head isn't on backwards or anything. It's finally breaking into that. It probably was bugging you for a while, that. <laughs> yeah! Finally got Studski, yay! So, so we can clear out this area to finally take care of these guys for one last time. Quite like this area, it's fairly scattered, but there's a lot of interesting stuff in it, even if a lot of it is the same as the stuff that's all over the place everywhere else. I just kind of like this area visually because it's kind of a clustered mess which kind of fits the scrap jar. It's like just fires everywhere, there's little things just lying around, it's generally a mess. Sorry. But now Natalia's going to be nagging at us the entirety of the rest of the level, so let's just try and get everything quickly now. Are you gonna get me down anytime soon? Actually, Natalia, you no. Know, you're going to stay up there. Think about what you've done. This is neat. I quite like this little catapult here. How do you think I feel until you have to hold a Wii U mode all this time? Tablet, rather. My arms are tired too. And how are her arms tired? She's hanging by her legs and in a grip of pins, I think. It's not even like she, her body's really doing any work there. I guess that's unfair, of course it is. It tried to kind of hold itself together in that position, but yeah. Light-headed, I could expect numb legs, maybe, but the arms, really? You can still kind of move those around a bit. She can even nag us when we can't hear her, that's ridiculous. That was actually fairly odd. Uh, because so when we climb up here, you'll see this box. This looks like it should be something. It even leads to a ladder, but in all actuality, this is literally nothing. It's just a platform you can get to, but there's nothing there. It's not like in like a Toy Story 2 game where you get like to the rooftop from all these kind of balcony areas. It's just there's nothing here. Literally nothing. There was no point to that at all. So let's get over here instead. Get this last thing sorted out. Come on, there. So, I mean, I'm just a little bit confused, because here I was actually missing a character token because I forgot to grab that one in the thing. I thought this had to do with it, but nope. It's just kind of ridiculous. But either way, let's just do our tally to finish things off. I always like these tallies, they're pretty fun to watch. Just see all the stuff you grab. Feels kind of like at the end of a game show with like them pulling all the prizes out and so like, hey, well, all the stuff you won, yay! But now we're done with this. So next time we'll be exploring the next large area. So I'll see you then. After grabbing the chase suit, of course.